This is part one of Euclid book three, proposition number 16. And in part one and part two, we're going to have this uh, circle. You can see it right here. It goes from B to C to A, and it comes back up to B. And of course, by using Euclid book three, proposition one, we find the center D. And then we draw the diameter of the circle, and the diameter of the circle starts at point B, comes through point D, and comes down here to point A. Now, if we were to draw a line that would be right angles to this diameter, which is BA right here, AB would be the diameter, we're going to draw a line which is, which is perpendicular to it. If we were to do that, then that line, the perpendicular line here, which is AE in this case, would fall outside the circle. And Euclid says it's always going to fall outside the circle, and he's going to prove that. Because he says, let's suppose that it falls within the circle. Okay, so he's going to draw a line here from point A to point C. Now, we already know that because already I have a circle are equal, that DC equals DA. Okay, now then, if DC equals DA, then triangle DCA contains two angles that are equal, which is DCA and DAC. These two angles right here, this one here, and this one here, are equal because these two sides right here, this one here, and this one here, are equal in size. And we can prove this by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 5. But we already established in the beginning of the proof that angle DAC, DAC here, was a right angle. We said that it was. I know it's not really, but we said that it was. Well, that would also make angle A, A, C, D, this one right here, also 90 degrees. Because remember, we just established that these two angles are equal in size, so now this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees. Well, if you add up D, C, A, and D, A, C together, you'll get 180 degrees. And that's impossible, and we prove that in Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 17. Therefore, the only way you're going to draw a line that is going to be perpendicular to AB, which in this case is AE, then AE must fall outside the circle. And that's the first part of Euclid Book 3, Proposition Number 16. I will tell you the rest in a future video, so stay tuned.